I've got a pasta, spaghetti, long spaghetti. I've got normal pasta, tubed pasta. I've got a bowl of Cheerios. And I've got a shoelace. You can use um, buttons, anything with holes in, and it's simple. Just thread them on. Oh, thread the Cheerios on the end of the pasta. And you can put normal pasta on as well. You could make it more fun and you could actually paint the pasta if you wanted. But yeah, look. Please use that and then get them. They use their pinchers. It's good for fine motor skills. You can do the same with the shoelace. Get the end of the shoelace and thread onto it. Or some string. Anything. Cotton. As you can see, I can't get that on, so I need to push a bit more on, like that. Okay. Another one is flour. You can do all sorts in flour. You can see. You can around the apple and down the leaf sliver down the snake do it wrong you can then just or just draw a happy face this is corn flour watch this if I put a little bit of water with the corn flour mix it up like so it goes or glue pee. You could add, you can even add um, food colouring to this. But you, again, same principle, you can draw in it, push it all around. Have just a little bit of fun with it. Okay, you can leave it as gooey as that, or you can add a little bit more water. But yeah, it just changes consistency. It's just a little bit of fun and just to try with the fine motor skills. Enjoy. Hi, here's some other examples of fine motor skills. So I've got an orange, a banana and a bowl full of raisins. An orange, just peeling it. Like this. It's good for the fine motor skills. Feeling a banana. You pinch your fingers. I'm taking raisins out of a bowl and popping them in another bowl. This bit because it's your pinch your fingers. Like that. So it's these fingers. They might use the whole hand. 